So as voluntary workouts begin to ramp up around the country, several schools have announced positive tests or placed a number of players into quarantine. LSU placed at least 30 players in isolation, some of which are awaiting their test results. Clemson had 23 positive tests, while Kansas State had 14 there in Manhattan. College sports reporter Adam Rittenberg joins us now here on SportsCenter. All right, Adam, obviously every situation, every school, every program is different, but generally, how are these schools viewing these respective numbers? Well, Michael, they're big numbers, and I think there's growing concern in the sport. They didn't know what would happen when players returned to campus, and now they do. There's, there's obviously positive tests, and in some cases, large, not large numbers. I had a, a Power 5 coach call me at night last week basically asking, are we going to play? So there's certainly concerns even at the top levels of coaching in the sport with, with this uncertainty. But we're still several weeks away from the start of the required team activities, the practices, the contact situation. So there's a sense if they can at least manage things now, maybe those numbers will drop in July and into August. But this is always a big unknown. What would it be like when players are back on campus, coming from different areas of the country, in some cases going out together? And in a certain, for a certain schools, it's obviously created some big numbers of positive tests and others that had to be in quarantine. And it's also a concern for school presidents as they seek about having the entire student body come back to campus. If you're getting this many positive tests in a small dosage, what would happen if you're talking about tens of thousands of students back on campus? Uh, another story in college football today, uh, Adam, Mississippi State running back Kylan Hill said he would not play for the Bulldogs unless the state flag of Mississippi is changed. Now, Hill tweeted that in response to Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves, who posted that a proposal to create a second Mississippi flag, quote, does not meet the threshold and would divide our state more. So this is what Hill put on Twitter, quote, either change the flag or I won't be representing this state anymore. And I mean that I'm tired. Adam, what more can you tell us about Hill and the situation there in Starkville? Well, like many star players around college football, Kylan Hill is taking a stand on a very important issue and threatening not to play. I mean, Chuba Hubbard did something similar briefly at Oklahoma State. Uh, other, other standout players have been out in front of, of a lot of these issues. You know, he's a guy that uh, did declare for the NFL draft back in December and then returned to school, which is a big boost for new head coach Mike Leach in that offense. You know, he'll be one of the more accomplished players on that offense if he does see the field. But looking at you know, his social media feed, very much uh, politically active in recent weeks and then culminating today, you know, other players are supporting Kylan Hill. He's retweeting their notes of support. And so you know, he, he, as a Columbus, Mississippi native, especially someone who's grown up in this state, looking at that flag his entire life, he believes this is his opportunity to take a stand and try to create change. Now, the state schools in Mississippi don't support having that flag on their campus, but it's obviously a huge divisive issue in the state, and now it's, it's uh, trickled into one of the state's most prominent college football players in Kylan Hill. Yeah, of course, the SEC said that we'll not hold any more national championships in the state of Mississippi, and still that flag has changed. By the way, Hill, the SEC's third-leading rusher, a year ago. That's how much he means to that program. Adam Rittenberg here on SportsCenter. Thanks.